This is James Lutton. Delighted to join with Anthony Crawler. And how you doing, mate? How are we, mate? We've got to start that again. But yeah, no, I'm good, thank you. Um, good, just good to be here. I'm busy, obviously, here with the two fighters who are on the bill. Rhiannon Dixon, my younger brother, William Crawler. And yeah, doing a bit of work with Tom, a bit of work with Betfred, yeah. Juggling all sorts. What's it like seeing your little brother come out on these shows when you've done it yourself? <laughs> and obviously coaching them as well. It's, uh, it makes you feel very old. It also makes <laughs> you feel very proud. Um, and yeah, no, it makes me excited for it all. And it's, um, it's good to see him living out his dream and also be with him while he's being beside him while he's living out his dream, just like he was for me. Is it almost reliving it all over again for yourself? Yeah, it is. I listen, I think it's no secret. I get more nervous for William's fights than what I do for my own fights, but I can't really show that on the night. Just like he'll tell you the same. You get, you got, you just get more nervous when I was fighting than when he does him. That's just what you do for um, people you care about who are close to you. Do you know what I mean? But it's, um, no, we just got to keep on improving and, um, you know, keep showing. I think, like you say, he showed like Eddie was very nice in his words. I said, I think the best compliment I can give him is I would have signed him. He would have got a contract, whether he was Hans Brother or not. Um, he's handed an opportunity on his debut and then he got put on another show. And then, listen, after his debut, he's, he's had four fights since all have gone earlier. Three have gone in the first round. So, listen, the lads he should be beating, but he's done it in the style of what a top prospect does. So, he's got to go and prove now that he is that. He has, he's worthy of the tag of a top prospect. Also, Renan Dixon, you mentioned as well. Yeah. Terry Harper fight. Yeah. Um, big fight for British women's boxing. Yeah, massive fight. Uh, listen, any all British world title fight is huge anyway, but no, it's a big fight for Rhiannon. Um, obviously, respect Terry and what she's done. You can't not. But um, at the same time, it's a fight we're confident in taking, uh, confident in winning. I oh, wouldn't have took it. Um, and yeah, we'll see. Listen, obviously, Rhiannon. Last time out, she's done very well, winning the world title. And listen, great night and stuff like that. But also, we know Rhiannon's so much better than that. And um, I believe the improvement she's made since that fight, the sparring, the world-class sparring she's been getting, will stand her in good stead for the, the night with Terry Harper. And I've not got you for very long, so let's go on to the main event. Jack Casserall here in Manchester, oh, hometown fight. fighter, and uh, Regis Progre. Good fight. Probably a high risk fight for Jack to take this. Absolutely a high risk, but listen, with the high risk, but also there's high reward, and for both lads, there's probably a little bit more to lose for Jack. Well, yeah, no, there's definitely more to lose for Jack, but it's, um, it's a top fight, it's a top fight, and it's a real, listen, I think, it, I reckon it'll catch fire, but I think for the first two, three rounds, it might be cager, um, but two heavy handed southpaws, isn't it? But um, also, like I say, I'm looking forward to it, and I think Jack. He's building on the back of that fantastic win over Josh Taylor in a brilliant fight last time out. Um, he's really riding on a real high and, like I say, he could have been forgiven for taking a much easier fight, like a bit of a keep busy fight where he waits for his world title shot. This isn't a keep busy fight, absolutely isn't. It's a very dangerous fight, but you've got to respect him and you've got to respect Regis as well, respect to both men. In Leeds that night against Josh Taylor, I don't yeah. think there was a single man left in Shirley. What's it going to be like here? It's, well, yeah. It's um, the they get behind him, and you know, so they should. He's a good lad, good lad, very good fighter, and um, I would say family man. He ticks, he ticks all the boxes for someone who I think you would be teaching the young people a child to look up to, in my opinion. So that's why he gets the support he deserves, um, right? Does and yeah, the support he deserves. So I think he'll have great support again. I think it would have only grew on the back of the Josh Taylor fights. It was a fantastic fight, wasn't it? Um, and it, then what happens is it becomes a night out for the whole of Charlie um, and what a night it will be and yeah I'm sure they'll be nice and quiet in here on a, <laughs> in August Last question from again just away from this card WBC Mauricio Sullivan yeah. has come out and said that he would sanction a world title fight for Manny Pacquiao aged 44, 45 years old inactive yeah. for the last three years what do you make of that? What like just straight off or about so he can come straight back in against Mario Barrios for the world title. I, I think it's I think it's wrong and I think it's disrespectful. Um, I think it's wrong and it's disrespectful if that's the case. Um, but we'll see. Listen, he's a legend, but you can't have that time out and go straight into a world title shot. And Nicole, let you go. Thank you for your time. Thank Top you, man. Thank you.